and welcome everyone to my updated room tour. I'd be doing a full on updated house tour except for we didn't really do anything different throughout the house except for to this bedroom. So yeah, it would kind of be pointless. I am going to be painting a little bit in the rest of the house but I haven't gotten there yet so we'll just hold off on that for a little bit. But before we get started, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Lull for sponsoring this video. If you are not familiar with the company Lull, they are a mattress brand. They also do like pillows and that kind of a thing. You know, the whole works. But the great thing about Lull is that it is a service that you go online, you order the mattress that you want, and it literally arrives to your front door and you don't have to go anywhere, you don't have to worry about figuring out the delivery, you don't have to worry about trying to fit it in your car. Personally, I drive a Volkswagen Beetle, so getting a mattress from a store to my house would kind of be impossible unless I had to pay like a $50 delivery fee or something. So it just cuts out that whole step of the process, which is really nice, and I brought the mattress in myself and totally unboxed it all by myself. So that says a lot about how easy it is because um, I have noodle arms, so there's like no upper body strength here. Hello? So it's super easy to do. The mattress, like I said, it shows up at your door. I grabbed it, I shimmied it on down through the hallway and brought it into the bedroom all by myself. It wasn't even too heavy. I was really surprised because I've moved a couple mattresses in my day and it was pretty horrible. So this was a much more pleasant experience. I brought the mattress into the bedroom, cut that thing open, the box meaning, and just slid the mattress out, unrolled it, and it starts expanding like right away. And it was so fast, it took maybe only a couple of minutes for it to fully expand. So it was a pretty easy process. We slept on it that night. And let me just tell you, this mattress is a game changer because it doesn't have any springs, so that's really nice. It's got just a nice like foam feel to it. Even when Andrew got out of bed this morning and had to like climb over me to get out, I did not feel a thing. It's really amazing because before our last one, oh my gosh, let me just tell you guys a little bit about our last mattress. I have lived with Andrew for about two and a half almost three years now and that entire time we were sharing a old twin size mattress that he got from an old band member that he used to be a part of that band and we were just sharing that twin size mattress i didn't really think too much of it until we got this mattress and now we have room and we're not like sliding together as we sleep because before when we were sharing that mattress like if andrew was on one side because he's heavier than i am um, I would just kind of slide down into him and there's no way that we could even have the little bit of room that was left on the mattress between us. We were like stuck together 24-7. So this is really nice. We've just had some space, which I love to cuddle, don't get me wrong, but you know, having a little extra room is not anything to complain about. So we got the queen size mattress, loving it, been sleeping on it for like a week or so now, a little bit more than a week. And they gave us two pillows as well. These pillows are fantastic, like the best pillows ever. I don't think I've ever bought nice pillows for myself and this is just like a dream, honestly, because I always just buy like the cheapest pillows. They're like those super flat ones. These are so fluffy and amazing. So loving that, thank you so much, Lull really appreciating it and that's kind of what sparked the idea to rearrange the room and really just like do it up quick because we were gonna have to rearrange it anyways since before we had a twin size and now we have a queen so we had to kind of reconfigure everything decide where things were going and yeah that's how we got to the point that we're at now so thanks to Lo for the amazing mattress that is changing my sleeping schedule for the better and for sparking this idea to rearrange our room. I really kind of like to do like a little bit of a rearranging and redecorating as fall and winter start coming in because 
it gets cold in Chicago and so we're just trapped in here for quite a while so I like to kind of change it up and give myself something new to look at. So I just wanted to say thanks to Lil again for giving us this little push to really just go all out with the room. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so this is, it's, our room's pretty small, you know, like literally just a quick glance, this is it. But we really made the most of it and I am super in love with everything that we did. I've started putting more pictures on this wall and took this one from the kitchen so that I just have a little bit something more to look at in here. I think I'm going to be collecting some photos and I think that as I go thrift shopping I'm going to be looking for some stuff to hang on the walls and going through magazines and looking for photos to take out and eventually frame like I need to get a frame for this and this and I want to get a frame because I found some cool snake skin that these snakes that live under my house shed and I just think that they're really cool and I read online that a cool thing to do with them was to like put them in a picture frame on a white or black backdrop and I think that's a really cool idea so I'm gonna do that um, this little dingly dangle thing Andrew's mom gave us for Christmas one year so that's really nice we just got a picture of David Bowie Angela Bowie and their little child right there I just grabbed this from a life magazine I think of David Bowie and then this is from an old magazine of the Beatles I have that framed this little mirror here is actually my great grandma's mirror and I've kept it ever since I can remember really. I remember um, going to her room when she was in the nursing home and um, when we were kind of figuring out like who gets what of her stuff, which is a sad note, but I have this mirror and I've always kept it and I think it's just so beautiful. Like a metal little handle there and all the details. Super gorgeous. So I wanted to hang that up because I thought that that was just a nice little touch. Then I've got this picture of Miss Pamela, the rest of the GTOs here. We got Miss Mercy, we got Miss Sparky, we got Cinderella, we got Miss Christine here, who is actually dating Alice Cooper, who is there, and then, you know, the rest of the Alice Cooper group. So I love this photo. Alice Cooper means, like, the world to me. He's one of my top three artists. I always kind of have a hard time trying to decide between Alice Cooper group and the Kinks. It's just two totally different things. It's like comparing apples to oranges, but I love them both. Alice is a huge inspiration for me and so are the GTOs. So I had to bring this in here instead of in the kitchen where I felt like it wasn't getting enough, enough love. Plus Pamela signed it for me. So that was really sweet. I just saw her last night too, but that's a story for a different time. Then, I have got this record up here, Crimson and Clover, Tommy James and the Shondells, I mean, I don't really need to explain that, Devin Crimson, hello. Um, but yeah, then there's another photo of David Bowie from that magazine that I just popped up here for now, but I will be framing it. Okay, so I just put you guys back on the tripod because I don't know if I should hold the phone, I feel like it's really unstable when I do that. But I also feel like you get a better look at what I'm actually trying to show you instead of just me talking. But yeah, I painted this inspired by the Dive Motel, which is where I shot at in Nashville with Wrangler Australia, if you remember that happening. Yeah, they just have all this cool like 60s and 70s groovy decor around and a lot of the rooms were painted cool like that, so this was inspired by one of the rooms there and I just love those colors so I want to do like a purpley crimson kind of vibe for the room like I love purple purple is one of my favorite colors but I've also like I love red and oranges so reds oranges mustard yellows and deep purples are kind of the vibe that I'm going for with some green like it's kind of a hodgepodge but it all works very well together in my opinion so super stoked about that i love this we are debating whether or not to paint the top part of the wall here in mustard yellow because you probably can't really see too much on um, the video but 
there's some like scrapes up there from the old shelves that we had leaned up against that wall so we're trying to decide if we should paint it a mustard yellow on the top or just leave it I don't know I don't want it to look like McDonald's in here but like red and mustard are kind of like a a 70s color palette especially with these other colors in here I don't think that it'll look too McDonald's-y but you guys let me know honestly I'm super torn like it was Andrew's idea and at first I was like no 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 but then thinking about it I was like that is a 70s color palette so yeah I don't know I'm having a hard time envisioning it right now but I don't want to paint it and then it be ugly so yeah um let's move on to the bed which I already talked a lot about but we have our old really old like I don't know how long Andrew's had this comforter um, but yeah it's time to get a new one we are getting a new one so we're waiting on that I'll pop up a picture of the one that I'm planning on getting it is by Harley and Jay who is a graphic designer and I want to say that they're based out of Australia but I don't know that for sure I'm just for some reason I want to say that I think that they are but anyways they do amazing 60s and 70s graphic design work I love their color schemes like they're just spot on every time and they sell their designs like printed on whatever you want printed on pretty much on society 6 and so I am going to order one of their comforters and surprisingly it's really not that expensive because I'm looking at comforters and like I was looking at vintage comforters because I want something to be cute and like fit the rest of the room right so yeah I was looking at comforters and they're just crazy expensive and so really like in comparison the one that I'm gonna get is it's pretty good I say it's a good price for how cute it is and the fact that it's like a small designer who designed it so I'm gonna get that as of now we just have the old comforter on it and then I put this little afghan that my grandma knit on top because it's at least kind of the color scheme that we're going for so you know whatever and then we'll get the matching pillowcases but that's that's the story of where my bed's at now and everything okay then we got my little night stand here and I just went to a thrift store and I picked it, this up. It's just like a little round table. I paid like $25 for it, which is awesome. And it's got this actual marble like slab for the top. So I think that's really cute. I've just got my journal here with a little note that Andrew left me before he left this morning since I wasn't awake and he couldn't say goodbye. I like to keep my journal here just because a lot of times when I wake up is when I want to write or if I'm going to sleep so it's just right there easy access and then I found this little dish thrifting too which is a little heart dish and I'm just a sucker for like pretty things if you haven't seen my house tour or you're not really familiar with me I love having a lot of stuff out like it might drive some people crazy but my interior decorating style it's very maximalist it's very eclectic and very bohemian so um if that's not your thing you know that's fine everybody has their own stuff and i can appreciate like the minimal looking stuff too but personally i just like to have my stuff out so i can look at it and i like seeing like pretty things i like different colors i you know i that's just who I am so this I picked it's just like I don't, I don't even know what it is but I thought it was really pretty and I thought that it looked pretty in a little Jack Daniels bottle apparently because that's what I got it in and then we just got my candles here love candles I have this birch tree branch that my dad cut down I found this clock thrifting too which is so cool just like a sweet little mid-century modern clock and then we've just got these lamps here which I think are really ugly so to make that a lot cuter, I just put scarves over them and fear not everyone, I feel like I have to make this disclaimer all the time that I've lived here and ever since I've lived here I've had scarves on top and they don't get hot, like they really don't and there's never been a fire so that's amazing and you do not have to worry about it. And then I also just like to hang some necklaces from it too because I think that it looks prettier. So. You know, this is actually like a giant shelving unit that you usually use in like a warehouse or something. Yeah, I think that Andrew got it from work one time and brought it home and was like, yeah, this is good for clothes. And so we've just had it ever since I've moved in. Like it's just been here. So 
yeah, we've, we keep our clothes on it. My clothes are up here, some of them anyways. I keep my shorts here. These are like shorts that I wear in the wintertime with tights or these denim ones I've just been wearing because it's kind of been like those weird fall days where it's kind of hot. I've got t-shirts back here, so just regular old little t-shirts. Um, I've got some like sweaters and turtlenecks here, just some easy to grab shirts. I've got pants stacked up here. I've got skirts here and then behind the skirts we have got some pajamas. Yay! So I keep those there. Um, and then up on top of here in that basket we've just got like some stuff. You can see Andrew's ski goggles and there we have like extra bedding and everything. So I don't have to look at the clothes because I really don't like to just see like piled up clothes. Um, I have this beautiful tablecloth which was given to me, like, two of them were, so one's actually on my table. Actually, maybe I have three because, yeah, I have three of them. But anyways, I put one here, and then I've just got some nighties hung up here, some vintage nighties, also because they're pretty. But then I've got some shoes down here. I have more shoes in my other room, but these are, like, ones that I just keep in here. So cute, nice. Then we got socks down there. We've got tights in there. We've got underwear in there. Some more shoes. We've got this little vintage thing that my friend gave to me, which I just have a purse that I need to fix in there. And then just some of these. Oh, see, it wasn't a Life magazine. It's a Time one. That makes more sense. Um, but yeah, some magazines. Tambourine. Be okay, now we've got the window here. And I just keep this little crystal-y guy that's pretty on this necklace that I broke. And so I gave it a new life by holding that and I keep it in my window. And then I got these really cool curtains thrifting and they're actual vintage curtains too. So that was amazing. And I like that they kind of let in more light because our house is just very dark altogether. There's not a lot of windows. So Andrew doesn't like that it leaves light coming in. He likes the fully blackout ones, but this helps me to not feel so tired in the morning and to really like want to wake up. A little rise and shine moment. So love these and I love the colors. Like it's just super cute. And I love having like pretty curtains and everything too because it makes for like a quick little good backdrop for photos just like as a little tip. Like, if you're taking photos of yourself at home. Alright, now we're gonna look at my vanity. So, this big table here, I wanna show it a little more, is actually a sewing machine. You can probably see the sewing machines right here. That's like a really old Singer sewing machine, and um, I've kind of tried to figure out how to work it a couple times, but it doesn't really work, and I don't really care too much about using a sewing machine, anyways. Like, it's not something that I need to do or I'm dying to do. So I love it, I think it's super pretty. Andrew got this for me, I think for like one of my first birthdays with him, I wanna say it was. Um, but yeah, I really love it. I think it's so gorgeous and I love it just as like a table like this. I think that the sewing machine part is really pretty so I like to keep that popped up. And then it also just expands bigger. Like if you stick the sewing machine inside, these two flaps over here close and it just looks smaller so I like having a little bit more surface area plus the sewing machine just looks cool and it's really pretty so I love it give you a little better view of it here super cute and before I go into what's all on it we'll go with this my little mirror there's a ring light you can see with my tripod and I have the mirror propped up because there's no way to hang it on the wall, so I set it on this little, I don't know, it's just like a little ottoman kind of a thing. On here, I have got just a amethyst. I've got this little jar filled with buttons and pins in there, which are really cute. I've got this little box, which I found thrifting, and I'm keeping some rings inside of it. I love little boxes. They're just adorable. These feathers, which were left over from a craft that I was doing, so I thought that they looked pretty as some home decor. Um, I got this little box too, which I don't really know where it came from, but I keep 
memories in there. I don't know. I keep little things like, I don't know. I'm, I just like to keep little things. So I like to have little boxes for my little things. Then I've got my little snake armband here because it's super pretty and cute. My mind flower earrings, well, some of them hung up here with some other earrings. And then the charms for my belt. I've got my earrings from my friend Brisa, her shop Breezy Sweets, super cute. And yeah, then I have some other earrings down here from Blue Star Mod. Um, I have some makeup brushes that I never ever use in that tea can there. And then here I've got some patchouli lotion, some like rose room spray, and some CBD oil that I sometimes put on my face when it gets really dry. Afterglow. Then I just have boxes with some extra jewelry in it down there that I don't really have room to display or anything. So yeah, then up on the top I had put this little dish so that I can make more of like a cute display out of it all. And these are some really nice black pearls that one of my family friends, who I call my aunt, um, gave to me when I was younger and then this candle which doesn't work anymore because it got too low but I keep my incense in here which obviously I need to restock up on and then in this little dish here this little vintage green dish um, I have some more mind flowers earrings though mind flower collab that I did with them the modern muse times mind flower collab and plus the little barrettes that are super cute so that's that little little dealio and then, oh, I forgot to show on the top of the mirror here, I have a fan that my friends Ashley and Kristen gave to me for my birthday, I think last year. Super pretty, love it. And the mirror's actually cracked here, so I was like, wow, that's a great little way to kind of hide the fact that it's cracked and display the fan, which I was looking for a way to do that as well. In this corner, weighing in, in a total of, okay, yeah, this isn't wrestling, but that's what I thought of. Um, I have my plant hanger hanging up on this really cool macrame plant hanger that my friend made me. I have the best friends in the world. I feel like everything in here is like something that my friend did, something that my friend gave me. Like, everybody's so nice. But yeah, so she's amazing. Her macrame company is The Hang Gang. They sell them on Mind Flowers as well, so you could just go to the Mind Flowers website. She also does really awesome wall hangings, so just go check out her stuff if you're looking for some cool macrame stuff. Yeah, it's amazing. I really want to get a big macrame door hanger. Like, instead of the beaded things that hang down, I want it to be macrame. That would just be super sick, so yeah. I finally got a plant in this guy. I've had this hanger for a while. She gave it to me a while back, but... I didn't really have anywhere to put it yet, so when I went to Home Depot to get the paint, which as you can see we painted this wall, this is the wall that I normally film at right here, so yeah. But anyways, when I went to Home Depot to get the paint, I was like, oh I gotta get a hook so that I can actually hang it up, and that's when I got the plant too. Cute little plant and a cute little pot. And then we just have another one of those lights that I think are not cute, but then I made it cute with the scarves. Again, doesn't get hot, no fire hazard here. Some more necklaces hanging up, a little cross with a little crystal at the end, super cute. And then Andrew just put in these hooks a while back or nails just so I can hang up my necklaces there and see what I've got. This, I pretty much kept it the same from before. I did rearrange it a little bit, actually, but you'll probably recognize these things from previous videos if you watch them at all. So there's my phone, you know, whatever. And then this is a little candle that I just have, like, arm band kind of wristbands on. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain them besides the fact that they make me kind of feel like Superwoman when I wear them. You know what I'm talking about? And then this little box that my grandma gave me, which is full of like the little memory things that I say I like to keep, like plane tickets, concert tickets, wristbands from going out, and then I just have some of my favorite necklaces placed on top because they're super pretty. Well, this is a bracelet, but whatever. Uh, then here's my little brush that I like to use. These are super soft on my hair, so I prefer this. And then 
some roses that Andrew gave to me. I can't believe they're still like thriving, honestly. Well, they're kind of getting wilted, but it was for our anniversary, which was September 15th, so. Um, but yeah, then we just have this picture of Mark Bolan and Mickey Finn. I've got this necklace that says electric hung up on the corner of it because I was like, electric boogie, hello, T-Rex. I got my selenite here, which I think is just like the prettiest thing in the whole wide world. I love, love, love it. Uh, chapstick, because we need chapstick, you know. I hate chap lips. Then I've got this little vintage box, which inside I keep like our passports and just stuff, you know, whatever. It's boring stuff. And then I've got this bracelet, which my friend Stardust makes, Twisted by Stardust. Um, some little bracelets here, which I just think are super cute. And then I've just got a little Polaroid of me, my friend Michelle, and my friend Courtney. And then another little box, which I just keep some earrings in that I made. I have a little ashtray for my Palo Santo and for the sage that I like to burn. Keeps the house smelling fresh, keeps the bad energy away. And then I have some chamomile and rose, which I just like to sprinkle in my candles sometimes. It makes it smell really nice and I think it just looks cute. And these little dishes, which I didn't really know what else to do with. Got some more crystals there. We got the incense holder. We have this little dish here, which is really cute, that I got a while back at a vintage store. And then my guitar pick necklace. Oh, speaking of guitar picks, I need to grab these ones and put them in the guitar pick case. Ooh. It's got this really pretty, like, velvety red lining, and it's actual silver. So yeah, that's really cool. I just got some little earrings out that I love to wear and I think that they're super cute. So keeping those out. And then I love this little like bottle with flowers in it. It's on a necklace, but I think it looks cute hanging out. So I keep that there. The picture that Hiro and Olivia took of me. This mirror, which is broken, but I waited way too long to return it. And I really don't mind the broken look that much. I think it kind of looks cool, so keeping it just you know whatever and then this candle holder which I got thrifting I actually got two of them the other one is in the kitchen and then the clear quartz got these candles at Target I just have this mirror here which my grandma gave to me and I just think it looks kind of cool with the hummingbird and whatever like I like this frosty little detailing on it and then I just have some necklaces hung up which I think are cute and a flower crown that Michelle made me when we went out this last summer. And then we have um, my little mirror down there that I do my makeup with. And I think the very last part of this room are these little suitcases, which I keep a lot of crap in, such as my hair products, curling iron and some extensions that don't match my hair color anymore and rollers and all that jazz. And then and this one, which doesn't close all the way and that's why I don't use it anymore has got all of my makeup in it. Half of it I don't use. I usually just grab this bag, which is like my stuff that I use every day, or not every day, because I don't wear makeup every day, but my typical makeup products are all in here for an easy, quick grab. And then I would just grab whatever palette I'm gonna use, which I have stacked up here. And then this bottom one is actually empty because that one I do like to travel with. It's got a really nice inside like flap that pulls down and then hangers that are built into it so you can have your stuff already hanging up and then um, just take it out already on the hangers and put it wherever you're staying at, like in the closet of a hotel or whatever. All right, you guys, so that is my full, very detailed room tour. Um, I was worried that it was gonna be super short because our room's tiny and there's not that much to show, but hey, a girl can talk and that's what I'm good at. So yeah, it ended up being probably longer than I thought it was gonna be. So I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope you enjoyed hearing the story about pretty much everything that's in this room. I want to say thanks again to Lull for the new mattress. Andrew and I are both so grateful and the pillows. It is a life changer. You should check them out if you are in need of a new mattress.
mattress. It was so easy. Literally just go online, order it, show us up to your door, bring in the box, roll it out, let it expand, and it's done like that. So I couldn't recommend it more. Not only is it super easy, but I love the quality of it. So 10 out of 10 for me. Thanks again to them. And thanks to you guys for watching this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see down below. Oh, LA people, LA friends. I will be coming to LA. I've said this in a couple videos, but I'm coming this not December. I'm coming October 15th through the 19th is my last like full day there. I leave on the 20th on a cruise. Um, but yeah, so the 19th, save the date because I am planning a friendship gathering. I don't want to say a meetup because that's just sounds kind of like lame. Um, so we're just doing like a friendship gathering. We are planning on meeting in Echo Park, like the park park, and we're going to have like a little fall picnic. Um, I've been looking at the LA weather and it still looks like it is really hot there, so maybe it won't feel super fallish, but that's the vibe. We're just going to get some cool snacks, everybody's going to hang out, and then afterwards, for people who are 21 and over, if you want to come out, we're probably going to hit some bars and just do some like dancing, see if there's any cool shows happening that night, and yeah, it'll just be a lot of fun, it'll be pretty chill, we can all just hang out, share stories, make friends, all the good stuff that we all love to do, so save the date for that. Otherwise, hope you're having a fantastic day, whatever you're doing, and I'll catch you in the next one.